create a visual simulation of Earth forming. Wow, look at that. It goes all the way from magma to the present day. Okay, what about create a YouTube thumbnail editor? Oh, this is incredible. Okay, what about create an interactive 20 by 20 Rubik's Cube simulation? Holy smoke, look at this. Finally, after all the hype, we got Gemini 3. In this video, we will see all the impressive things you can do with Gemini 3, and of course, its limitations. And we will also see benchmarks, the price, and where you can access this. So let's get into it. The easiest way to use it is through Google AI Studio. Once you get in, just click Gemini 3 Pro Preview. Let's test it. My first prompt is analyze the most common disease around the world, use different colors for each disease, Make the colors darker if a lot of people in a country have that disease. The map should show all the six continents in the world, excluding Antarctica. Include the data for all countries. Use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript for this. And put everything in a single HTML file and use free tools to make it happen. Okay, let's click Generate. Let me expand the thought to show you what it's doing. Yeah, it's first understanding what I'm telling it, like comprehending the objective. Then it evaluates the data, then prioritizes data generation, designs the visuals, defining the color opacity and everything. What's new on Gemini 3 Pro Preview is it doesn't think as long as Gemini 2.5 Pro. I think it finished everything. Wow, it finished everything. And look at that speed. It finished in under a minute. Even though the prompt is challenging, the speed is amazing. Yeah, here is the entire code. Let me just download the code and open it in a new page. You can see the file here. Let me click on it. Okay, here is the entire thing. It says here ischemic heart disease, malaria, and everything. Let me click on US. It says in the right top of this page, United States of America, top disease, ischemic heart disease. Prevalence, 23% of the population. What about Canada? It says top disease, ischemic heart disease. It's cool. What about Brazil? It says diabetes with 10% of the population. That's huge, man. What about Sudan? It says malaria with 40% of the population. What about Russia? It says stroke with 20% of the population. This is just amazing. It gathered the entire thing in under a minute. The speed is so impressive. So let us go to the next test. Here I asked it to create an MX player clone. Let's open the page. Here is the code. And again, I have to mention the speed. It created this entire thing in one shot finishing in about 56 seconds. It is incredibly fast. So here are some things I will be checking. I will check if the volume swipe works, the brightness, the seek swipe work, lock mode, full screen. I will check if these things work. Let me download the file. It leads me to this page. Let me select a video and open it. Okay, it opened the video. You can see it here. It's 10 minutes long. Let's see if the play button works. Clone MS Word. It works! And the pause button too. What about increasing the volume? Yep, it works. Let me decrease it by half. Oh, wow, look at that. It works too. What about the brightness? Let me drag it down. You can see it becoming dimmer. And if I just increase it, you can see it is too much. It works too. What about the forward button? You can what see it works too. Cool. Let me decrease the brightness. What about the backward button? The backward okay, button also that. works. What about the slider? You can see the slider working. It's amazing, the entire thing works. What about this lock-in button? It works too. You cannot do anything. Everything is locked down. <laughs> you cannot even control the player or play the video. That's nice. It created the entire thing in one shot. It is amazing. Okay, here I have an image of Google CEO Sundar Pichai, and I'm asking it to create this exact image using HTML and CSS. I'm testing the depth of its CSS knowledge. I'm not expecting it to get it 100% right, but I just want to see what it's going to do. I tested this prompt in other AI and they all failed completely. Let's click Generate. It finished everything. Seriously, wow, the speed is amazing. It feels instant. Let us download the code as usual and open it in a new page. I think that attempt was kind of nice because this is the best by far, but the ears are in the wrong place. And it tried, but it didn't do it perfectly. His beard is not perfect. This is expected. It's hard even for expert coders. I just want to check its ability. But it put the glass, this is kind of nice, but it didn't actually create him using CSS. That's it. This is the only prompt where I can make Gemini 3 Pro Preview fail. So, okay, here I'm trying to create an interactive Rubik's Cube simulation ranging from one by one up to a 20 by 20 Rubik's Cube. 
And then I wanted to include all the functionalities of the cube, and it's gonna use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and it's gonna place everything in a single HTML file. Let's click Generate. It finished everything. Let me click Download the Code and open it in a new page. You can see everything appears here. The texture is kind of nice. Let us click one by one. The one by one is here, as we said. Let me go to three by three and let us see if this works. And then we will check the 20 by 20. Let me click Scramble. You can see it is scrambled. Here is the scrambled piece. Let me click Solve. You can see it is completely solved. Let us go to the 20 by 20 and scramble it. Here is the 20 by 20 Rubik's Cube. You can count the pieces if you want to check if it is 20 by 20. Everything is formed nicely. Let us see if it can scramble it correctly and solve it. Let's click Scrabble. Holy smokes, it actually pulled it off. The scrambling is correct. Let us see if it can solve this massive 20 by 20 cube. Let me increase the speed here. I think the slider doesn't work. It is just solving the piece on its own. And it solved it. It solved this entire massive 20 by 20 Rubik's cube. This is insane. Amazing. Here I'm testing if it can create a detailed 3D visual simulation of our solar system. Make the planets and the sun colorful so that I can see them clearly in the space and also add texture to them. Include interactivity and slider. Use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to do it. And put everything in a single HTML file. Okay, let's click Generate. It finished everything. Let me download the code and open it in a new page. Okay, here's the result. You can see the texture of the Earth. Let me check if the orbit speed works. Let me slow it down. You can see it is slowing down. Maybe let me increase it. You can see the speed is faster. Let me bring it down and increase the size of the planet. Oh, it is increasing. Let me decrease the size. You can see the exact texture of the Earth. It's the exact thing. Wow, it's amazing. The Saturn planet has the ring, but except for Earth, most of the planets don't have the exact texture. The color might be correct, but the texture is only correct for the Earth. It's impressive how it one-shotted this. Just amazing. Okay, here is another visual simulation, but here it's gonna show our Earth planet forming 4.6 billion years ago to a current time including our activity in sliders. Put everything in a single HTML file. Let's click Generate. It finished everything. Let me click Download and open it in a new page. Okay, here's the formation of Earth from 4.6 billion years ago to the present. Let me slide it. It says Earth is molten pool of magma and frequent collision of asteroid. You can see the red things here are the asteroid. And the moon is forming. Let me slide it like this. You can see the molten is solidifying. It's cooling. Now it says the crust is cool and solidifies. Water vapor condensed to form the first toxic life. Bactania begins. Let me slide it to the years of ocean. It says oxygen level rises. Great oxygenation event. Complex cells evolves on Earth supercontinent. You can see the oceans here, but our planet is not forming. Let me slide it more. It says 540 million explosion of life. Plants colonize land. Pangea forms and breaks. Dinosaurs comes and goes. I made it to the present day, but I don't know why this part still seems like ice. It did a pretty good job. This is the first model. It did a pretty good job. I think it got half of it correct, especially at the beginning in the molten stage. It did wonderful, but it couldn't continue the simulation. I think after the ocean part, what we were seeing doesn't make sense. And this doesn't look like our planet. That's it. Create a map of Seoul using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Show all the restaurants on a map alongside with their rating. When a restaurant is clicked, display short detail about the restaurant. Use free public available map layer. Put everything in a single HTML file. Let us click Generate. It finished everything. Let me download it and open it in a new page. Okay, here is the map. You can see it here. Let us click if it works. Let me click this location. You can see the name of the restaurant and their famous dish. It says it's famous for its chicken soup, ginseng chicken soup. It also tells you the relative location. It works for all. You can see even the rating. It says 4.7 rating out of 5. Huh, it's nice. It's zero shot at the application. It works. Here I'm trying to create a simple audio editing app where I can upload and edit an audio file using my mouse. Include basic editing features such as trimming, cutting, adjusting playback speed, volume control, and etc. And make everything works properly. Use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Place everything in a single HTML file. It gave me this file. Let me download it and open it in a new page. Okay, here is the file. Let me upload an audio file and let me check all the features. Here is the audio. Let's check if the play button works. That works. Also the pause button work. What happens if I say stop? 
It starts from the beginning. Let us check if the volume works. You can see the volume works also. What about the playback speed? The playback speed also work. What about this zoom? It zooms the audio wave. It works too. It says, keep the selection, but I can't even select an audio. How do I select? So both the trim and the cut button doesn't work. What about download the result? Nice, you can see the audio downloaded here. So that's it. But both this editing feature doesn't work. So I think this is a fail. Here I'm trying to make a create game similar to Merge Boss. If you don't know Merge Boss, it looks like this. So let's see the result. Let me download it and open it in a new page. Here it says I have 53 energy, so the customer wants wrench level three. Let me click this, and this is how you play it. Click, 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 click. It says the board is full, so that works. So let me merge the items, and I got the item. So let me say deliver, it works too. Everything works, and let me check if the energy, like let me make the energy zero. You can see it says out of energy, so it works. I think this is good, it works. Here, I'm trying to make it create a complete YouTube thumbnail editor with all necessary feature, include different text fonts, text color, controls for glow intensity, saturation, and other visual adjustments, exactly the way I want them. Use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Place everything in a single HTML file. Then it gave me this. Let me download it and open it in a new page. Okay, here is the file. Let me upload a file and let me check all the features. Here is the image. I just edited it a bit in other software. And let us see if the brightness works. Oh, yeah, the brightness works just fine. What about the contrast? It works. The glow color is this. If I increase it, you can see the glow increasing. Let me turn it on like this. Let me move the offset X. It changes the glow axis from negative to positive, moving it from left to right. What about the offset Y? Up and down. It works. Finally, let me click remove text just to check. The text removed. Let me then download the image. The image is here. You can see it works just fine. It's amazing that you can create the app you want just by prompting. What a time to be alive. Since Gemini 3 Pro Preview is multimodal, you can upload photos, videos, or audio and ask it anything. For example, let me upload my YouTube video. Let me paste the URL. You can actually specify the starting and the ending of the video. For example, if it is maybe a four-hour video, even Gemini 3 Pro Preview won't process that because the context window would be too large. So you can specify the start and the end. Since my video is short and only 10 minutes long, I'm not gonna do that. And you can increase the default frame per second. The default frame is one per second, one frame per second. So I'm gonna leave it to that. But if you wanna make it bigger, you must know that it's gonna double the context window of the video. So let me save. Let me ask it one thing I mentioned in the video. I'm asking it for agentic search, which model is the best? Is it GPT-5? Let me click. And the video, I specified that Kimi K2 thinking is the best for agentic, currently the best, even beating GPT-5 and Claude 4.5. Since this was two days ago, before Gemini 3 Pro preview was released, it was Kimi K2 thinking. It says, based on the video provided, no, GPT-5 is not the best for agentic search. According to the testing and benchmark presented in the video, Kimi K2 Thinking is currently the best model for agentic search. You can ask it any question and it can answer that. One place you can access Gemini 3 Pro Preview is Google's AI Studio and the second place is on their Gemini platform. Once you get in, just click on this and you can see thinking through complex topics with 3 Pro. So it is Gemini 3 Pro Preview. These are the two places I'm aware of that you can try Gemini 3 Pro Preview for free. And on LM Arena, where users blind test an AI, Gemini 3 Pro Preview for Text Arena is ranked number one, and then Grok 4.1, then Gemini 2.5 Pro, the previous model. Okay, for Web Dev Arena, again, Gemini 3 Pro Preview is ranked number one. It beats the second AI with a huge margin of 90 points. And for Vision Arena, again, Gemini 3 Pro Preview is number one. And the second model is still Gemini 2.5 Pro. It's so funny that a six-month-old model is still ranked number two. In artificial analysis, which is independent analysis of AI, Gemini scored an intelligence of 73, ranking number one. And GPT 5.1 is here, and Kimi K2 Thinking is third place. And what's impressive is its speed. 
Its speed is almost equal to Gemini 2.5 Flash, which is the fastest model in Gemini. I felt like I was using something better than Gemini 2.5 Pro, but with the speed of Gemini 2.5 Flash, that is exactly what I get when I use Gemini 3 Pro. Comparing Gemini 3 Pro Preview with the previous 2.5 Pro model, it is almost three times faster. This is a big deal. This means you can be three times faster if you use this model. And the intelligence is much, much higher than Gemini 2.5 Pro. And for price, it is $4.5 per million context. It is higher than Gemini 2.5 Pro, but still lower than Grok 4 and Claude 4.5 but GPT 5.1 is the best for price to performance. Still, Gemini 3 Pro Preview is good because the performance is much, much higher than GPT 5.1. And in another leaderboard called LiveBench by Abacus AI, Gemini 3 Pro Preview is ranked number one, higher than GPT 5 High and even GPT 5.1 High. And the low version is here. You can see Gemini is just leading on all benchmarks. For ARC AGI-1, which tests an AI in complex reasoning and generalization, you can see Gemini 3 Pro Preview is here, and the DeepThink model is scored 87.5. Gemini 3 is number one on this leaderboard also. And for ARC AGI-2, which is even more complex, Gemini 3 is ranked number one here. The DeepThink scored 45%, which is higher than the second model, GPT 5.1. It is almost three times higher, and Gemini the normal version is almost two times better. So you can see Gemini beats all the models. One thing to note is that Gemini 3 Flash is not yet released. It's expected to be released soon. So this is all about this video. What's your view or what's your impression of Gemini 3 Pro Preview? Do you want me to do a second review where I test Gemini 3 Pro Preview with hard, difficult coding example and other examples? I might test it. So leave your hard or difficult prompts in the description box. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing and hitting the bell. Thank you for watching and until next time, folks.